Now for the last but not the least and the most special. Back to my channel. Today is going to be a very, very exciting episode because today I'm going to reveal my Dior sticker collection. So, ayon, medyo nagkolekta tayo as always <laughs> ng mga Dior. Pero pinaka kinulek ko talaga sa kanya nila is Dior B23. So, ma makikita nyo mamaya. I have here my from the oldest to the newest. Um, explain ko na lang later, but simula na natin. So, this one is the Dior Defense Perforated Sneakers. Ito yung isa sa mga pinakauna nilang sneakers. So, sobrang luma na nito. Ayan, ah, naninilaw na nga siya. Pero, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. <laughs> Collect pa more, te. Anyway, <laughs> ayon. So this is the uh, di ko nag nag na defense. Nag sale sila before kaya ako bumili nito. And then ayon, nakalimutan ko na meron ako so hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. From there, um napakita ko na sa inyo to, yung aking um uh, Walk in Dior. I have it in the limited edition Tokyo uh, edition and the one na unang-unang nilabas for women na in oblique. yung nakalagay yung Christian Dior sa gitna. So, I have two pairs for the lows of Walkin Dior. Price range ng Walkin Dior is around 60 plus but this one is discontinued kasi um, limited nga siya and I bought it in Ginza. So, pinasugyo ko talaga na makakuha nito because I really, really love, I have a thing for limited edition. So, ayun. This one, I don't think it's available with the Dior thing here in the middle. From... Walk in Dior, punta muna tayo sa D-Connect. Super nice tong D-Connect. <laughs> Papansin nyo, madudumi, madudumi na sila or yung yellow, but they're, they're clean, don't worry. This one is the very first pair of D-Connects that I've ever had. And I enjoyed it. I really, really loved it. It's very comfortable. Parang may cushion siya sa ilalim. Para ka nagtatapak ng ano, ay bulak sa ilalim ng paa mo pag naglalakad ka. I've used it in a lot of travels, especially in um, Europe. And you know naman that in Europe, it's mo most likely or more likely talagang lakad ka kesa sasakay. So, panglakaran talaga, I can guarantee na sobrang comfy niya. Price range starts from 60+. plus. Pag nag-sale sila, nagsisale naman sila daw minsan. Pero yung mga um, seasonal collection, hindi yung mga classic na mga colors. So, this one, eto. This one, I bought this because I have the bag that's there no, with this. With my name, nakalagay na Amy. Yung isa sa mga book tote ko. It's called the Kaleidoscope. Or Kaleidoscope. Whatever. <laughs> no, it's the Kaleid Kaleidoscope, di ba? Tama nga ako. So, it's the Kaleidoscope. Ang ganda niyo, di ba? Sobrang intricate ng details. I really have, ano, I appreciate art. Wow, tumatanda na ako. <laughs> I appreciate art in the form of fashion. And especially when it's in shoes, yung mga gantong prints, di ko sila pinapalagpas. Miss ko sa mga D-Way ko kung napanood niyo yung video na yun. Link natin dito. Eh, talagang yung mga prints nila kakaiba. Yung mga magagandang prints, yun yung binibili ko. Although, same-same lang naman sila ng itsura. Yan. Sobrang confident nito na pang-travel ko na rin to. And yun, yung price range naman pag limited edition, mas mataas ng konti than the usual. Ayan, punta na tayo dito. Ito, super excited ako here to share with you. Kasi, uh, super favorite ko to. The Dior B23s. Ayan. Ito yung unang-unang-unang design ni Kim Jones nung lumipat siya sa 
Dior as a creative director and I'm a big big fan of the, of Kim Jones and Dior itself. So nung nag-collab sila sa men's, buti na lang yung pa ako, kasha sa kasha siya sa pang babae and kasha rin siya sa pang lalaki. So isipin niyo na lang ganoon kalaki yung pa ako. <laughs> so pwede ako bumili from the girls and pwede rin ako bumili sa mga pang guys, but I can never buy for the kids from the kids section. <laughs> so there Unang-unang nilabas to, um, lahat halos ng collection niya, first collection niya dun sa unang release niya, binili ko. Pati yung cows na mga t-shirts, binili ko yun kasi sobrang fan nga ako ni Kim Zone. So, hindi ko pinalagpas magkaroon ng unang-una niyang ginawa for the brand that I love. Ang price range nito, nasa 60, 10, 68 plus and I've kept it for so long. Hindi ko rin siya pinapakailaman. Napang travel ko na rin to. Napang Paris Fashion Week ko na rin to. Plus, yung sumunod dito, ang kinuha ko, limited ulit. Eto. So nice. Wala na to. Discontinued na to. And hindi ko sure kung i-offer ulit yung personalization. But sometimes, kinukuha ulit nila, nag-open ulit sila. I've had it personalized kasi meron silang um, ABCD Dior event that time. Tapos, eto yung collection noon. So, binili ko siya, pinalagay ko, embroidered yung ACH sa magkabilang side. Ayan. So, it's very personalized. It's so unique. It's so beautiful. O, ba? Girly-girly ka kahit medyo streetwear yung pormahan natin. Tapos, girly-girly shoes. I wore this if I... If my memory serves me right sa... Um, sa second day ng Dior event. Tapos, I wore the Dior skirt, a jacket, and then a see-through na Dior top, and then pan sa Dior. Basta dinior ko silang lahat tong araw yun. <laughs> Kasi I really love it. And then they were like, wow, that's new collection! So sabi ko, ay, bongga, pasok tayo sa banga. From there, nagpunta pa ako sa mga ibang kulay. Wait, I'm gonna get it. There. Meron akong black. Itong black na to, same lang din siya nito. Para siyang laminated, tapos perforated din siya. Para, para siya mosquito net. Alam niyo yung ganun. <laughs> Yun yung gawa niya. That, that's what it's made of. Kaya, hindi siya ganun kabilas madumihan. Unla um, unlike dun sa ibang mga shoes nila. The thing is lang, ingatan yung mga rubber parts and then yung sole. Maganda yung sole niya kasi sobrang komportable and steady siya. Hindi ka mag, ano, hindi ka mag-wiggle, hindi ka madudulas. Kaya, highly recommended ko tong, ano, sneakers na to for girls and for boys. For those na hindi masyado into high cut, you can opt for the low cut. The price point naman is almost the same. Mga 3,000, 2,000 pesos difference lang naman ng high tsaka yung low. Eh. Pero ako talaga, I prefer the highs. So there, this is the black one and I have it in white. The white I haven't used, yeah, I'm sure. Here, it's all white. It's so clean, it's just so nice that you know, you never, you can never go wrong with a pair of white sneakers. So I bought it in high cuts also because I have a thing for high cuts. So yun, parang ang ganda lang niya pala nakasuot ka ng skinny jeans, ganyan. Ay, ito pa pala, hindi ko pa napakita kanina. Walk in Dior din siya. Super duper love. Hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. Pero, mm, nakakilig. <laughs> Kasi, sobrang intricate din ng details niya. Sabi ko nga, I have a thing for limited edition. Ayan, papa, ano ko na lang, papa, zoom ko na lang lahat ng details. Beaded siya. It's a work of art for me. And, basta, yung puso ko nagsastop talaga pag, uh, Mga ganito yung mga limited. Parang feeling ko, piece of art siya talaga. Work of art. So, there. Balik natin doon. Hindi pa gamit. Uh, moving forward sa aking B23 collection. Meron pa akong last one. Down to the last two. Ito, um, red versions ng oblique nila. It's so nice. I have it in, ano rin, actually. In light blue and in yellow. But it's not here yet in the Philippines. Pero meron na ako nun. Uh, na-order ko na siya. So, kinumpleto ko yung mga kulay nila. Ganun pa rin yung price point niya, around 68. Eto, limited edition to. Um, collab to ni Stussy, if I remember it right, and ni Kim Jones for Dior. So, medyo mas mahal to than the others. It's a hype din. I'm going to discuss with you the hype sneakers and the lock sneakers one time. The locks I'll discuss 
on my own but the one with the hype you have to watch out for it because i'm gonna be with my hubby with uh, no, hubby to discuss it with you so you have to wait for that it's coming real soon from ano from the price range ng mga 60s plus nasa 70 plus to, to 80 plus tong collab na to ni Stevie. Meron pa siyang ibang mga kinolab but ito yung gusto kasi meron yung lumabas na parang bungo yung face, yung head niya. Yun lang ang hindi ko kinuha. Tapos kinuha ko na ulit lahat ng mga colored na obliques. From B23, we have here B27. Naglabas sila nito. Si Joseph, meron siya nito in low tear, no kami. Usually, pagka may mga ganito, bumibili ako ng dalawa, tag isa kami. Usually, nire-regalo ko sa kanya. Eh, ayaw niya ng high or ng mid-cut pala, rather. This one is a mid-cut, hindi kasing ano nung high. So, nakakalaki ng tignan ng paa. So, maganda to pagka babae yung magsusuot. And, I opted for this color because it's white. And, white din kasi yung kanya. So, pareho kami. Twinning kami. There. Now, for the last but not the least and the most special. I have two pairs of this, but I'll, I'll just show you. One. Hmm, pikilig ako. <laughs> Kasi na-post ko na dati yung ano, hi. So, eto na lang. Hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. I was actually planning to use this uh, um, fashion show. Kaso, hindi pa rin okay situation now. So, wala pa rin nakaka-travel. Poporma ko talaga to dapat sa runway. Kasi, medyo na-invite din tayo sa gina. Ayan. Here. The Air Dior's. It's said to be the most coveted pair of hype and locks shoes for the ano, for the century next century talaga but yes it is they only had 8500 pairs of it and the number one out of it is with Kylie Jenner so mare meron din ako Mars kala mo so my number is hindi ko napapakita <laughs> pero it's around 2000 25 something 2500 something so there my high cuts i think are nasa 1,000 plus something. So, yung isa ko sa mga unang binigyan ng allocation for Air Dior's. So, there you have it, guys. This is my Dior sneaker collection. And I hope you learned a thing or two or at least you enjoyed my episode today. I hope to see you guys soon on my next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below on what you'd like to see on our channel. And of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell right here so that you'll get to be notified with whatever it is that we're going to do on our channel next. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!